What's up, YouTube? Uh, Mad Gamer here, uh, headed into work. Uh, I had another video I was gonna put out yesterday, uh, but I ended up just like deleting it because it was just one of these. But I already had a video of me and Holly trying the Crystal Pepsi, so I was like, I didn't want to put out two videos in one day because a lot of people aren't even like interested in what I have to say, much less. <laughs> having two videos in one day. Uh, when I actually um, get like internet and stuff, I'm going to uh, probably put out more than one video a day. That way, uh, when we get set up at our house, I'm gonna start doing like challenges and stuff again and try to try to do something uh, playthrough-ish wise when we, uh, we get all set up. But right now, um, we won't have internet until I think Monday uh, they were supposed to come and do it today but um, we don't have our hookups they're still up in Tulsa and we were supposed to have them for them today and uh, they couldn't do it without them so uh, had a hair in my mouth uh, anyway just driving into work uh, it is August 11th um, update on work, uh, last night, uh, no one would give me a straight answer of what I was supposed to do after my line was done, so I ended up just leaving, and hopefully they were okay with me just leaving, I mean, nobody else needed my help, so, should be okay, but, uh, that's update on work, uh, I was running with, um, the dude, I was running line two, and the dude that's been gone for the past two days that normally runs line two, he came back last night, and I guess he had something up his ass because he was just extremely rude all night long. And every time I would do anything that he showed me how to do, it, he was acting like it was wrong. Like I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it that soon, or I shouldn't have done it um, like I did it. And he's like, uh, we don't do that. And I'm like, what do you mean we don't do that? Like, man, I hate when people, like, completely stop to turn. Anyway, he was like, we don't do that. Uh, we don't do it like that. Because if someone comes around and checks their paperwork and you put that before, um, it's like the temperature of the chicken. Uh, if you put the temperature of the chicken before it's marinated or something, it's like bad but I seen him doing it all the time and he'll do it like three or four batches ahead of wherever he's at like he'll be on like the first batch and he'll fill out the paperwork for like the next three and I did that and he got all butthurt about it like he was just I don't know he was being a complete dick and I don't know what his problem was I don't really care I'm not there to make friends I'm there to make money so what whatever um but yeah, he was there last night, and anyway, he went to the office, and then I went to the office to see where he was at, because our line was done, and he apparently went to the nurse's office, and they said he would be right back, so I went and sat in the break room for like five, ten minutes, and then I came back, and he was, uh, our line, one of the dudes on our line was like, wrapping uh, like the computer stuff in plastic like they do that uh, after we shut down anyway um, I went back and I was asking him where he was and he's like I think he went home or something like that and he's like uh, I think you're good to go and I was like okay and he wasn't my lead so I probably shouldn't have left but I couldn't find my lead either so I was just like well I'm gonna go and it's not like they needed me anyway. I mean, I probably could have stayed and helped line one, but I think line one was full. So hopefully I get to help uh, the dude that's been training me uh, for the past like three weeks. Um, not really training me. I mean, I'm doing everything by myself now for this past like two weeks. I've been doing everything by myself, but he, uh, it's like you have a marinator and then you have a support and mainly I'm a marinator and then the dude that is normally the marinator for line one is my support. Like he
he goes and grabs the chicken and makes sure we have it. And then I go and I dump it and then I put the like uh, the ingredients in with the water and all the salt and everything. And anyway, hopefully I'm helping him tonight because that other dude was just a complete douchebag last night. Um, like I said, he had something up his ass. I don't know what his problem was. He seemed to be okay with everybody else, but every time I would do anything, he was like, um, that's wrong, we don't do it that way. And I'm like, okay, like, shut the fuck up. I, I've seen you do it already. Like, I wanted to call him out on his bullshit, but I'm not there to make enemies or friends. I was there to make money. I could care less about all the uh, bullshit people try to come up with. But anyway, update, uh, we are finally like moved in. Last night was actually our first night in the house uh, without having to go anywhere. So that was pretty fun. Um, we actually got to sleep in. I slept till like 11.50, which was ridiculous. <laughs> um, I mean, I went to bed at like 1.30 something and then I uh, still slept till like 11.50, which was really, really dumb. Um, considering I got up at 9, like 35, and then I went back to sleep. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to sign out now. That way, when I get there, I can just straight get out of my car and head into work. Because yesterday I talked a little bit and I was like right on the being late marker. So I'm not going to be late even by a minute. I've been five minutes to six minutes early every day for this past month. So, And on top of that, I get 50 cents per hour raised. I get 50 cents added to every hour if I show up like five minutes early. So that's a really huge plus. I don't see how, why people quit this job. I mean, I know it's like kind of bullshitty sometimes. Like you got to deal with it. Like yesterday I had to deal with that asshole. But he was like really cool before he came back from Oklahoma City. And then he was just a complete dick. Maybe he didn't want to come back to work. And his feelings were hurt because he had to. I, I don't understand. I I don't know. He was like okay, but now he's like just a complete douche. And then he was like okay during the end of the night. Like he started being like normal again. So I, I don't know. Maybe he's expecting me to know everything from head to toe. And he's also trying to get me to drive like vehicles, like forklifts and stuff to go get chicken. And... I'm not authorized to do it. I know I could probably do it, um, but he's like, yeah, go get the chicken, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, my supervisor already said not to do this and you're telling me to do this, so whatever. So last night I had to go get some chicken and it didn't go bad, but could have been and it wouldn't have been my fault. But anyway, this is Mad Gamer signing out. I'm about to take my last turn. Yeah church dude you need to watch where you're going or you're gonna end up in heaven church dude about pulled out in front of me like what the hell come on everybody you know the drills but anyway guys uh just bitching about work really um uh, it's like went good up until yesterday and then that dude was being a dick to me, which I don't take very fondly to, considering I wanted to punch him right in the mouth. But anyway, won't be doing that. Won't be losing my job over a dipshit. But this is Mad Gamer signing out. Hope you guys um, like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm like trying to park, and it's like very tight squeeze in here. like a glove. Anyway, Mad Gamer signing out. Like and subscribe. Uh, check out my 
um, recent videos if you want to know what's been going on in life because that's all I've been talking about. Uh, getting set up, going to be trying to do some challenges here soon, some playthroughs. I'm going to go through and do some playthroughs on older games, so hopefully you guys like that, uh, watching stuff I played when I was a kid. Um, anyway, Mad Gamer signing out. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.